back everybody. So today we're going to try Merking for the Weekend from Austin Brothers Brewing Company. I like what they put out. I do not find a lot of them around here or else I'm late or uh, like I have one. I think they changed artwork or brought it up to speed almost like New Holland and I picked up one. I was like holy cow I've never had this one and then I went to do the review and I had it like I don't know, five months ago. Uh, but so this one on the can says Merking for the Weekend. Uh, it does say New England style on the back, but Untap says, let me make sure I say this right. Um, N-E-I-P-A is what that says. So uh, the Merck series, I have done a couple or one. I remember some blue one, um, Mercules or something like that that I did last year or something. Um, so uh, this one is 6.6% ABV, 50 IBUs. Uh, New England style India pale ale featuring four pounds per ba barrel of Citra and Simcoe hops. How could you go wrong? Uh, $3.79 is what I paid for it. Uh, this should be a good one. Uh, the date on here is 6-30-22, uh, so this is um, August, the middle of August, so we should be good. Let's go ahead and get this open, get it into a glass. We're going to get a humongous head on there? Yes, we are. Hmm. Um, Off-white colored head, pretty much all small bubbles. From that poor three fingers exactly of head. And if you're thinking I'm pouring this wrong, you're out of your mind. Um, uh, milky light orange. Not yellow. Milky light orange. In color. Lots of bubbles coming up. And just because I said that... Here is a milky yellow, and here is a milky orange. I hope that's coming through. That This one almost looked like milky lemon in there. But, yeah, definitely a difference um, in color. I think I said on that last one it was a light peach. And on this one, I would say like a milky peach is what that would look like. Uh, coming through so let's see I don't think that head's gonna go away usually you're gonna use some kind of wheat just for the cloudiness that protein keep that in suspension so this head I'm gonna say this is over carved a little um, again if you think I poured it too heavily uh, go I don't know watch somebody else's video because I'm gonna keep pouring them like that but yeah overall looks good for the smell Wow. Like a citrus berry. What is, is it? Pine? Like a, a good citrus, generic citrus berry, almost more lemony berry like if you took berries crushed them up and put some lemon in there maybe a little bit of orange in there that's what this smells like but there's something else in there sweetness like a candied berry lemon i'm gonna go with that like that citrus tends more to go towards the citrus or towards the lemon, but it's like a, a, a candied berry in there. Okay, let's go ahead and try. We'll try and get the rest of that in here once this calms down. Hmm, 
Like, uh, there's some funk in there. Or dankness. More juicy, like, juice quality. Hmm. Like a, a, a juicy berry uh, dankness in there. Like no citrus at all. That's kind of weird. It... it there's no, I, I was definitely thinking we were going to get some sweetness or some bitterness out of this. No bitterness, really no sweetness. Like, a, yeah, like, a, I almost want to say a flat berry dankness. What is it? There's something, hmm, I almost want to say there's like a touch of raspberry in there, like candied raspberry. It drinks like juice. Very weird. It's almost like that, what was it? The Prairie Artisan Ales Painkiller? It's, it's almost like there, I don't know where this carbonation's coming from. Um, and again, if you think I'm pouring it too hard and I just took all that carbonation out of there, you're crazy. Like, there's a little bit. I mean, it works. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with a candied raspberry dankness. Light. Goes away pretty quick. Uh, there is a little bitterness on the back end that stays there. Um, I'm going to go 3.75 out of 5. This is actually a weird one. Alpena, Michigan. Is it over hot? With four pounds per barrel? Because that's eight pounds of hops per barrel. 3.75. Let's check on that. Five of my friends have checked it in, 4.01, almost 1,000 people, 3.98. So I'm a little bit under. Hazy, juicy, smooth, dank, clean. So that dankness is there. Uh, let's see. Wow, that color looks totally different than what I got. And they were at Austin Brothers uh, Beer Company. Did I say brewing company? It's beer company if I did. Uh, that one doesn't. That one looks like mine. That makes me feel better. I was going to say because it could be oxidized. The rest of these or the couple that are on here do look like mine. Um, let's check everybody just to see. Not happy enough for me. Then why are you drinking a New England IPA? Yeah. Yeah, I guess if you're into beers like this, definitely one to pick up and try. I would pick one up uh, to see if you like it. But yeah, if you like this review, check out some more over here. And until next time, cheers.